Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q4 of the weekly contest 267, processed, processed restricted friend requests. Um, so this one is a little bit tricky, but I don't know, it's a little bit weird. I think this is one of those problems where you have to hit the like button, and you have to hit the subscribe button, and you have to join me on Discord, where a lot of people are talking about contest problems, especially, you know, we have, I think every week now we have a bunch of people in the top 100, so come, uh, and just kind of chat and hang out and so forth. Um, but yeah. Um, so this one's a little bit weird, the way that I think about it. Um, so I, one spoiler alert is that I did it in Java. And I don't really go to Java unless I feel like the constraints may be a little bit tight. Um, we'll see how, if that is the case. But but one thing to always think about, um, especially when you're on contest mode, for, for interviews, maybe a little bit less so because there's some flexibility. But in contest mode, you have to, you have to, you have to look at the constraints. Um, sometimes the constraints can fool you. But you have to at least look at them and make sure that you know you have a plan to kind of meet those constraints. And here we notice that the number of requests is a thousand, the number of restrictions is a thousand. And so my daughter is, and it took me a long time only because I was trying to prove myself that's fast enough, and then I end up using Java anyway. I actually don't know if this one's in Python. So if you did it in Python, let me know in the comments how you did it or if whether this is fast enough. Um, I might do it a little bit later, but. As of this video, I have not done it, um, and I feel a little bit, you know, like betrayal e. But but that said, the idea is just using Union Find, um, and this is why um, I just switched to Java, right? So so basically, I do. To be honest, other than the Union Find and knowing to do Union Find, this is very brute force. It's brute force using the data structure of Union Find. I'll go over my code in a second, and then I'll go talk a little bit backwards what I mean by that. Um, so look at my code, and this is Union Find. I'm not gonna, for the purpose of this video, because this is a Q4, I'm not gonna explain the concept of Union Find that much, um, only because I'm a little bit lazy, but also because I have a lot, I have good amount of videos that goes over Union Find, but I, I'm gonna, you know, just to keep this video a little bit shorter, I'll, I'm gonna assume you already understand Union Find, and then we'll talk about the nuances of how I thought about this problem instead, right? I don't know if you're fishing about it. Uh, and if you don't know Union Find, that is a prerequisite, um, at least for how I did it. So definitely go back and, you know, practice those kind of problems first. Um, so, yeah, so I set up Union Find, I set it up here, and then for each request, so the tricky part is, is knowing um, whether you need to combine or not, right? Um, so I did it in a very brute force way by by looking at, um, um, yeah. So basically I go, okay, this is the left sub, um, left union group, left uh, equivalence group. It's not, the left and right doesn't mean anything. It's just, you know, me putting like my hands almost. So basically we're given, you know, given a, a, a friend request, we have these two equivalence group C groups uh, equivalent groups, um, and then we see, okay, if they're the same, then if they're the same, then that means that you, you're already good because you've already been good in the past. This friend request used to be good in the past. It will continue to be good. So we set it to true and continue. Um, this is not necessarily per se, because it's just that it saves some time, a little bit of time, because it saved this for loop. Um, and note that, of course, this is all of R for now, and this is all of, I, I say, all of, let's just call it L for restrictions. Um, so the idea is that this is brute force and that we look at every restriction and go, okay, if for this restriction, uh, one of the, uh, for every restriction, um, if, if basically this is me saying, if we combine them, one of the restrictions will be bad. If that's the case, you know, we don't go, right? So, so that's basically the idea. And we do this in all of L time, right? And we do this by looking at the groups that um, the two restrictions are in, and then we see if they matched up, right? And, and this is the scenario where, okay, so if if one number is in one group and the other uh, the other restriction, the other friend is in the other group, then that means that when you combine them, they'll be in the same group and that cannot be good. So that's basically the idea here. Um, and uh, of course, there are two ways of doing it, you know, alternating. Uh, so yeah. And basically, that's pretty much it. If this cannot be done, if combining them gives you a false result, then we, we set this to false. Otherwise, um, otherwise, if this can be true, that means this can be done, we do a union. And we do a union like this. Um, it's a little bit of a shortcut because we already know the equivalency group, and this is where you would 
you know, put it in a group anyway. So I didn't have a abstraction here, and also in Java is a little bit messy. So so here you can see that this is O of R and this is O of L, and each of these requires some, let's just say O of U for the for the cost of union fine, right? So this combines to um, in time O of R times O of R iterations. So total time is O of R times L times U, where R is equal to restriction or R is equal to request. L is equal to restrictions or the length of them, and U is equal to cost of a union fine, right? Um, and that's where I, you know, I, I immediately thought about this. And of course, you can see that R is equal to a thousand roughly. So a thousand times a thousand times U, right? So we're doing going to be doing a million union fines. Uh, technically four if you look at this code, obviously, but but yeah, like on the order of a million union finds. And that's where I thought, okay, if I do this in Python, union find might not be fast enough because anytime you, I find that if you have 10 million iterations of something, of roughly speaking, in Python, in lead code, it's a little bit too slow. Um, this rough estimate isn't always true. It might be not true for this one even, but that's what I, I my, my back of the envelope guesses. So here I go, okay, this is going to be a little bit um, too, too sketch. So that's why I switched to Java because it, um, because we, you know, very often we, we approximate uh, U to be O of 1, which is true, but, but the constant could be maybe, maybe the constant is like, you know, five to six, uh, and then there's constant on top of that. So, so right. So that, that, that's kind of expensive. So that's why I switched to Java. Um, and also keep in mind that U is only this optimal if we do path compression and, uh, and by rank, right? If we union by rank, right? And I, I'm really lazy about union by rank. Um, so that's why I, uh, yeah, I didn't do it that way. Um, though I did do path compression, as you can see here. Um, and we do reuse the paths probably a lot, so I think we're probably okay. But still, um, these are the things that I think about, and these are the things that I worry about in Python. Um, and that's why I switched to Java. But otherwise, this is way brute force in that every time we combine, we look at all the restrictions, and that should be good enough. Also, in space, just to be very clear, we have O of N space, uh, plus O of R space for uh, the answer, right? So N is this the number of nodes or number of friends, and R is just the number of requests. So that's the number of space we have because we have to return the results. Um, but also, we also put it in um, N as the space for, for the union find. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you did it. Let me know how PyFind goes. Um, yeah. Anyway, you could watch me solve the live during the contest. Next. Uh, so many penalties. 10 minutes of penalty is tough on this. Some people are already finished. I am doing way terribly. On silly mistakes on both cases too. Like I think I'm doing okay on time otherwise. 18 minutes, I would have been top 50 if I didn't, um, didn't have 10 minutes of penalty. Okay, let's see. Focus, focus, focus. Cannot become friends and cannot directly. Okay, so that means that they hate each other. Okay. Okay, I mean, this seems. Seems pretty straightforward, maybe. Um, no, I mean. How many restrictions are there? Maybe not actually. Maybe I lied. Or uh, requests. So as long as we do requests in a good way, we should be okay. We can go for all the restrictions one at a time. But maybe that's too slow. Mm, I mean, it's union fine, but I'm trying to figure out which union fine do we want.
because for each request we can just do a union fine and do the restriction but is that too i mean i i wonder if that's fast enough especially in python but uh, but that also means that it's going to if it's fast enough it's going to be sad because a lot of people will get this very quickly i think so yeah okay it is what it is Yeah, okay. We'll see if it's fast enough. If not, it might have to use to another language, which is kind of annoying to even have to think about. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just do it preemptively. Uh, okay. <clears throat> So I don't know about the performance profile. Oh, whoops. Maybe I have to think about this for a little bit. Because basically, if you combine them and see if they're the same, that may be too slow, so then we have to unravel it. We don't really have a dynamic thing, so let me give it a second. Hmm. I still think it's doable, it's just I have to think about it. Uh, a lot of people are getting it. Hmm. I, mean, I think it's still okay. If okay, yeah, I think I got it. Good.
this is the same. I have to give an answer. I think that should be okay, but... Mm. The last one is not correct. Why is that? Oh, I, I, I meant to do this, but I forgot because I got distracted. Good thing, because otherwise this would have been really sad. Because that would be another silly mistake. Um, this may still be too slow, but okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this form, this explanation. Um, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.